It is a great day here at Positive Christianity, and I pray that it's a great day where you are. Here's what Earl Nightingale once said. He said, human thoughts have a tendency to turn themselves into physical equivalents. I agree. In Proverbs 20, verse 5, it says, People's thoughts can be like a deep well, but someone with understanding can find wisdom there. Well, your thoughts have an upper level, a middle level, and a lower level. And many thoughts, if you dive in deep, you will find wisdom within your thoughts. You also find that God is there helping you with thoughts that seem confusing and like a maze. Paul Valery once said, We hope vaguely, but dread precisely. I've known many people like this, where they have mastered dread. But what we have to do as spiritual people is master hope. All too often, our worries dominate our thoughts. They cloud our vision. We need renewed faith and clear perspective and a fresh focus. We need to dive into our thoughts until we find hope. Sometimes that's like archaeology, but we have to find it and then move ahead on that power. When we focus on the frustrations of today or the uncertainties of tomorrow, we rob ourselves of peace in this present moment. But when we direct our thoughts on more positive paths, we rob our worries of the power to, to absolutely ruin our day or ruin our lives. And our lives are an, are an accumulation of our days and our thoughts. Today, remember that God is infinitely greater than the challenges that you face or I face. Remember also that your thoughts have a powerful, powerful, powerful effect on your sense of well-being. So guard and direct them accordingly.